All right, good morning, guys. Here, I got my first customer selling a car to him. Another financial mistake here. I'm waiting on the second. It's not one. a financial mistake, everybody. If you guys know what you're doing. <laughs> well, anyway, so we're gonna be selling my girlfriend's car to Seekers Gang, and then they're gonna be doing a budget build or whatever with it, or messing around with it, taking it down to SoCal. You know, it's gonna be saving some forest fires. It's gonna go through the the hills. <laughs> Messing around. I don't know what he's doing with it. So, if you want to learn more, just go to his channel. Yes, sir. Seekers. We got the second customer here making another financial mistake. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Jay, I have something to show you real quick. You want to see something? So what we'll be doing is putting this uh, turn signal here into the ARP bumper since uh, it doesn't come OEM so we're going to splice into the current turn signal harness. Alright guys, when you do the install, uh, this is the turn signal and inside the turn signal are some hardware and some rubber gaskets. And then you will take this, uh, this harness that you will connect to the uh, wiring harness. Finally finished putting the turn signals on this ARB bumper. One here, right here. Now let me turn on the lights for you guys. All right, I just finished doing all the electrical stuff. If you want more information about the updates on the Land Cruiser, just check out Seekers. All right guys, see you guys later. Hey, what's up guys? I'm back with another one. Today I'll be showing you guys how to do a hoseless wash if you live in an apartment without a hose. Actually, the supplies I have is a bucket a garden sprayer and also a bucket of water. So first, uh, you will use this canyon and then this would be where you use that to wipe with extra lubrication. So I'm gonna show you guys the process. So here we go. All right guys, so this is basically the foam canyon. You can tell I modified the sprayer so that it can shoot foam. So what you wanna do is do panel by panel. So you get this water, get a microfiber towel, wet it so you have extra lubrication and then you start wiping it. So that's why a hoseless car wash would be a good choice to do since you don't want to bring out all the materials out like a hose or anything but if you live in an apartment this is a good way to do it. cleaning the car so you can tell it's a lot cleaner now compared to before so let me give you the same now
guys, if you're wondering how to do a postless wash, this is the best process. It's make within like 30 minutes you'll be done and without the hassle of getting the garden holes, having to trip over it or having to like do so much work like in the sun and stuff like that. But yeah, just do the steps and you're good to go. All right guys, see you guys later.